Hey everyone, this is Aisha of Event Decor and Designs by Aisha and welcome to my channel. Well, today I am going to be decorating my Shiera board, um, my Shiera backdrop. Um, this is a DIY that my husband made for me. So what I'm going to be doing, I am going to be doing an end of the school year um, celebration for my girls. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use that board to put some balloons on. And also I am going to be adding um, some vinyl. I'm going to be using my Cricut to add some vinyl and a sign that I want to um, go on my board. All right. So first of all, I'm going to be using this Oracle 631, as you see right here, and it's um, pink. They call it bubble gum. All right, so the balloons I'm going to be using are pink, purple, and like a light blue color. So now I am in my office, and as you see, I have my Cricut right here. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it up, and I have the Cricut Explorer Air. All right, and I'm going to start here on my computer. And as you see, I have a blank screen and some text. And I think I'm just going to do congratulations because my girls has um, been promoted. So school is officially out. My oldest daughter will be a senior. Yay! And my twins will be in the fourth grade. So I'm actually excited about that. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to type out congratulations. If I can spell, let's see. Congratulations. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna make it bigger. Not that big. All right, cause I wanna look at it and see um, how I want it to be. All right, so I'm gonna change this font because I really don't care for this font. All right, and as you see right here, you have different fonts. Cricut has some fonts on here that you can pay for, um, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm gonna go right here to where it says system. And a lot of fonts here up on the system fonts are free. So I'm just going to go down here and try to find me a free font that I want to use. All right. And I actually like this. Okay. This is a beautiful um, font that I'm going to be using. I just like the way it looks when it says congratulations. Um, and I'm going to be making it. I'm going to try to make it a little large because I want it to go on my board and um, my board is pretty tall all right so i'm going to go with probably about let me see my mat you always want to make sure that it fits on your mat and i'm going to be using this mat right here it's the paper studio it's the standard grip adhesive mat and this one came from hobby lobby um my husband and my kids bought this for me i think it was for christmas so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and um do my uh congratulations um 24 inches all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just going to put my vinyl on my mat and let me see if i can show you what i'm gonna do all right so this is my mat right here okay and my mat is a 12 inch by 24 inch all right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take my vinyl, which again is the Oracle 631, and it's removable vinyl. I don't know if I told you that, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to take it, and I'm going to place it on my mat the long way. All right, so I'm going to start here at the 24 inch, and I'm going to bring it up, if that, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I can get it right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start here at the bottom. And I'm just going to line it up right here where it says 24 inches. All right. I'm just going to bring it all the way up to the top. And just press it down a little bit. Okay. Press it down. All right, so now I'm gonna get my scissors, which I have my Cricut scissors here, but you can use any kind of scissors that you have. And I'm going to cut the S, uh -oh. I'm gonna cut my extra off this right here because I don't want that hanging because it has to go into, uh, it has to go through the machine. And I hope you can see that I'm just cutting this part off. All right. 
right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take my um, vinyl and I'm just gonna place it. Well, first I'm going to ma press me make it, all right? All right, and as you see, it lines up on my mat. Okay. And it goes all the way down. So all I do is just pull it up just a tad bit. So I make sure everything cuts the way it should. Don't anything, none of my letters get cut off. All right, it says at least one of your images larger than 11.5. All right, select okay to continue with the larger mat, which I have a larger mat, so I'm gonna say, okay because i have a 12 by 24 all right so i'm going to say okay and i'm going to say continue all right so i have everything here i have my base material set to vinyl so all i'm going to do is just take my um vinyl and just place it just like so into my cricut all right and i'm going to press the blinking arrow, arrow, and that just brings it into my Cricut. All right, so now it says press the flash and go button, which is the C. So I'm gonna press the C right here. And as you see, it says preparing to cut, All right? So it's cutting out what I wanted to cut on my vinyl. All right, and when you're using a larger mat like this, just make sure you have enough room um, in the back, the front as well as the back. Um, so that's why I keep moving up my machine because I don't want it to hit the blind because if it hits something, it may mess up the, um, you know, your letters that you want cut. And we don't want that to happen. But if it does, you know, you just have to, um, if it do, you just have to get some more vinyl and start over, um, which, you know, I don't like wasting vinyl. Vinyl is not cheap. All right, so I am done with my vinyl. And all I do is just go here and press finish. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to take my vinyl off of my mat. All right. So I'm just going to kind of uh, just pull it off. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is something that is called weeding. And well, but first I'm gonna go ahead and take off this uh, vinyl so that we can uh, see what we have done. And I'm using my little, little pick, as you can see right here, and it's a Cricut pick. All right, so I'm just gonna get ready to start it off a little bit here. Okay, like so. All right, so you just wanna pull off this SF vinyl that you don't need and just be careful that you do not pull up any of the um the wording or the vinyl that you need okay all right so all right, all right i'm trying not to pull up anything that i need because So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit and read, weed everything off of here so that I can, um, I mean, take all of this off so that I can weed out the words that I need for my, um, to put on my board. Okay, so that's what I'm doing as you see here. And this is weeding pretty well. You still have to kind of be cautious and watch because I uh, made a mistake and pulled up the T which I want to keep my tea. So, um, just have to be careful with that. And this is my other, uh, what is this, my E and I think. I need to go to the, do I need it? There it is, okay. All right, so we're gonna come around on this side. And this is 
my S, so I need to make sure I keep that. And then get rid of this part here, which I don't need to just get all of this off. Okay, that's my end. So I'm just gonna come down in here. Okay, so that's my O. All right, so with the O's, I mean with the I, um, I'm trying to make sure I don't have a dot because sometimes you have a dot at the top of the eye that you can't see. And um, I think the particular, no, wait a minute. Okay, that's part of the end. I'm sorry. <laughs> but there's times you do have an eye, like I have the eye right here. And just so happened the dot on this eye did stay. So I appreciate that because I have had it where I have had an eye and the dot came up. All right. So this is how it looks. As you can see, I hope it's not dark. All right. So I'm just going to start weeding it. I don't want this video to be extra long, but if it do, then I hope that you watch it to the end because this is very, very valuable information um, so that you will know how to do it. And if you're looking for a Cricut or any Cricut products, just check in the description box below because I have my links in the description box for you. And um, they are affiliate links and it's to Cricut so that you can go and check out um, maybe a Cricut machine or Easy Press or even some of this vinyl um, or whatever you need if you need some products or whatever it is all right all right so when you're weeding you just want to go and just look for the different areas that you know you need to pull off all right so that you can go ahead and take it out and just be careful because you don't want to damage anything all right all right so i think i got everything and this is the way it looks i love it all right so i'm just going to add this to my sh uh share board that my husband made for me and I'm gonna show you how everything looks once I get finished. Now I'm gonna go up, uh, go in here and blow up the balloons. All right, so let's go. All right, everyone. So now I'm going to be blowing up the balloons that I'm gonna be using. And um, I asked my kids what they wanted. Um, I had one twin chose pink, one chose purple, and my oldest daughter chose this light blue. All right, so all these balloons I already had here at home. These are the Sempertex brand that I have right here that I'm going to be using. And these light blue are just some that I had from a previous um, Baby Reveal uh, balloon um, circle that I did. And I'm going to be linking my balloon playlist in the card section as well as in the description box. All right. So that you can go and check it out. So I'm going to be using my balloon pop. And you have seen me use this many, many times. I also have a link in the description box for this balloon pump from Amazon if you would like to purchase it. Remember, it's an affiliate link. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and start blowing up my balloons. Oh, and I have, um, I'm going to be using the 18-inch balloons. These are the pink ones. I have 11-inch uh, balloons. All right, I think I'm going to be using these 5-inch balloons. They're pink. I also have five inch blue and I have these 18 inch purple. Now purple 18 inch are the only ones that I had. So I'm just gonna be using what I have. And I think these are 12 inch blue. All right, so let's get started. <laughs> All right, and I just want to remind you that when you're blowing up your balloons, just make sure that you have them in a round shape. And as you see right here, let me put a little bit more air in it. All right, so this is not how you want your balloons because it has 
like a cone shape at the bottom, if you can see right here, but you want it in a round shape. So in order to get that round shape, you press on your balloon to let out some air, just like so. All right, and that's the round shape, okay? And all you have to do is just take it, and to tie it, you take it, what I do, oh, I'm sorry, Move that back. I pull it, wrap it around my finger, take it, and tie it, just like so. All right, just like that. And if you have any questions, leave, them th leave the questions in the comment section and I will respond. <laughs> bigger balloons but I always still press on my 18 inch okay just to make sure it has that round shape okay and just take it just like you do the other ones pull it and wrap it around your fingers your finger and tie it okay sometimes it can be a little difficult all right and that's your 18 inch balloon all right, so I will be back when I'm finished. All right, everyone. So this is the Shiara board that I was telling you about that my husband made for me. And I am going to be decorating this for the end of the year school celebration that I'm going to be doing for my girls. All right. And um, I decided to do it indoors. I was going to go outside and do it, but it is storming here where I am. And it's supposed to storm for the rest of the the week so i'm just going to do it indoors and i'm also going to be adding this pedestal stand my husband also made this for me um i actually have two of them but i'm going to be using one i may use two i'm not sure yet but i'm going to be putting they want a cake so i'm going to be putting cake on that and i think i'm going to use my cake stand that i used in my daughter's sweet 16 glow in the dark birthday party and i'm going to be licking all those um the Sweet 16 Glow in the Dark Party in the card section as well as in the description box for you to go and check it out if you do not did not see it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be adding balloons um, all the way around here. And I'm going to be putting my sign, my Cricut sign, right in the middle. Um, I think I'm going to put my balloons up first and I'm going to put my sign so that I know exactly where I want to put it. All right, and here are my balloons. All right. Okay, so if you remember, I showed you um, what my kids chose. One chose pink. My oldest chose blue. There's another pink. And I know I wasn't going to have enough blue, so my oldest daughter decided to do white, and I did blue again. And I only have 18 inch and purple, so I'm going to add those around um, once I put the, put the balloon garland up on the stand. All right, so let me show you how I am attaching these, okay? All right, so as you see, I'm doing, I think it's called cold blocking, where you put one color, then the next color, then the next color. So I have blue here, so now I'm going to go in with the pink. And um, I just put it, I just did my um, uh, sets of two, and then I add two more, and then I add two more. So I have a set of, um, I have six right here. So the way I've started to do mine, and I've been practicing this, it takes practice. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna connect the um, balloons by the necks. And so what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna take the neck of this balloon here, and these are the blue ones that's already attached. And I'm gonna take the neck 
of, of the purple, I mean the uh, pink ones here, okay? And so I'm trying to come as close to the camera as I can so that you can see. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull the neck of the pink and the neck of the uh, blue, and I'm just going to connect them, just like so. Just like this, just take it, wrap it around each other, and then tie again. Like I said, it takes practice. All right, and then tie it, all right? And then you can fix it so that you can, you know, see that. All right, and that's how it looks, all right? And that's how I have done all of them all the way down. It's just connected by the necks. All right, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section if you want me to show more of how I did that. All right, so let me finish up the balloons. So what I decided to do was add some of these flowers here and they are the pink ones. I really don't know the name of them, but I purchased these um, from Ikea and um, they are actually on my shopping haul on my second channel at Aisha and Akira's lifestyle channel. If you want to go and look at the home decor haul that um, I did because I'm redoing my living room, actually we're redoing our home. So we purchased a lot of different things. So this is one of the ones that I purchased. So I'm gonna be adding these to um, this balloon garland. All right, so one thing you wanna do when you're adding flowers is you just wanna make sure that you do not burst your balloons. Um, so I folded my, even though these are plastic little um, ends, I still fold them up like this, all right? And just, you know, fluff them out and make them how you want them to look. And take a step back just to make sure it is what you want. All right. All right, so this is the sign that I made with my Cricut. If you remember the congr congratulations sign. 
And I have already added my transfer tape on top. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to take it off. And as you see how it comes off onto my transfer tape, just like this. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to take it and put it uh, probably right here in this area. And again, this is a, um, a end of the year school celebration for my girls. And I think I'm gonna put it probably in this area. Okay. And make sure you know where you put it because once you, once you stick it down, it's stuck. All right, so I'm gonna put it right here. And this is removable vinyl. You always want to have removable vinyl um, on any board or anything that you're working with so that you can take it back off. If you have any bubbles, just go through it with your finger. So let me show you the balloons so far. These are the balloons with the flowers added. All right, as you can see. And I put the 18 inch purple balloons here. And I put another pink one, pink one, purple one. And there's my congratulations sign that I used, that I made with my Cricut. All right, and again, I added to my, um, my board that my husband made for me the share board all right so now what i'm going to do i'm going to pull my um, pedestal stand right here and i'm gonna go ahead and put um my cake stand here all right so this is the cake stand that i was telling you about that i used for my daughter's sweet 16 party and i think it's going to actually be too big for my pedestal stand as you see how it looks um it's a little too big so i don't think i'm going to use it even though it looks really really good with my decor with my balloons and the um with the board here but i think i'm going to just do something different but this is the cake stand and i purchased this cake stand from e favor mart I absolutely love it all right you can see it there all right so what i think i'm going to do i just probably put cake or maybe just get some cupcakes and put it right there all right and here is the cake that i went and bought for my girls all right it's a cute little cake it's small and that's all we needed something small to fit here on my pedestal stand that my husband made all right and let me back up a little bit so i can show you the entire setup All right, so I also bought some cupcakes and we're gonna have pizza. And um, y'all, excuse my dog, he is barking. So, um, yeah. So I hope that you all enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about anything that you've seen here on my video. I would love to answer any questions that you have. Any ideas that you may have for a video, maybe a balloon video or something that you want to see me do, just let me know in the comment section. All right, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will know when I upload my new videos. And watch to the very end because I'm going to be showing you, I'm going to be taking pictures and just showing you different things, uh, how we enjoy and how we celebrate the end of a school year the great school year so i just want to say i hope that everyone have a great day and i will see y'all in my next video yeah. oh you're recording yeah hi 
Okay, how y'all gonna celebrate the end of the year? Are y'all gonna jump up and down? <laughs> what you gonna say? Uh, happy graduation day! <laughs> happy promotion day! Happy, happy promotion, promotion day. day! I mean, happy fourth graders! Happy fourth grader in eleventh grade! <laughs> She's in the 12th grade. Oh, 12. Mm -hmm. That's the last Okay, let's jump. School. One, two, three. Whee! <laughs>